Good morning. The birds are chirping. The sun is out. Well, we don't know about that. It's 43 degrees it's here this morning, so it's cold. <laughs> we had to take uh, Saki out for a walk this morning, so it was a it was a little bit of a shocker. We haven't we haven't experienced that cold of weather for a long time, so we're in for a real treat. Saki's checking out the the geese. The geese. So we're we've got this room all prepped. We painted some trim yesterday, and uh, patched some holes. We patched, got our holes all patched, and we've also done this bedroom here. We got some stuff going on, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, we got a little painting ahead of us today. We got most of the trim work done. Yeah. And um, we got this. Room back over here. Oh, we filled the hole. We filled the hole. The big, the big, the big one that you can throw. Yeah, so we got this all repaired. Yep. Mike did a good job. Just waiting on Actually, you did most of it. <laughs> um, got, the, got the wall primary. Yeah. Got rid of that hideous burden. Got that wall repaired. <laughs> All our repairs are done. Now we're just waiting on uh, painting. Yeah, paint. Which is our job for today. Yes. We got a we got a guy coming to do a duck fence today. Yep. So we no longer have to freeze to death to walk our sock field. So we're gonna we're gonna put a dog fence out in that whole front yard there, so Saki can have his little area. She was um, sure. Our Job the other yeah, yeah, where are we? I'm okay. So we uh, we emptied out the rest of the basement. We emptied out the guest house, and we filled up another dumpster. Yeah, that was pleasurable. Oh. There was 30 years of dirt in that carpet down in that boathouse. I yeah, don't think it we, had ever been vacuumed. Yeah, when we took the carpet out of the boathouse, it was, um, it was, it was gross. <laughs> even, even the mattress, we, we threw the mattress down from the upper level and the dust came pouring off of it. Oh yeah. I mean, he's it, like, heads up. So I back up and the plume of dust actually caught me in the face and went like five feet, five, four inches <laughs> i didn't even think a dust a, a mattress could get that no. dusty and it didn't then mattress really didn't have any stains on it which was i was impressed here i'll grab it right here so we'll give you a little tour of what we did out here yeah. what you going first in the death house here so we, we took all the all, all the flora the carpet all the carpeting out a couple rails <clears throat> Um, the upper area also, actually uh, this, this stair, we, this is we, have, for us. we have to go around, around <laughs> the stairs this way. So we took, the only thing we didn't do is we didn't take this, we'll have to probably just get new steps for these. Yeah, I saw, I saw a kit when we were at We'll have to replace some of this plywood. Yeah. It looks a little rotted. And I don't think the air conditioner is going to make it. No, the air conditioner. <laughs> We heard from the neighbor that it's in a bad uh, state of disrepair, which we knew that anyway. We're going to get a Mitsubishi in it. Here. So we took our guardrails off here, so yeah. we just have to make sure we don't fall. Then we got a, we got a nice view of a foggy lake this morning. Yeah. And a little bit of wildlife here. Yep. Yeah. Bunch of geese. Yeah. So, next what we did is we got the basement all cleared out. Um, that was uh, the heavy, the, the, I just, I just, heavy that for your ear box comes on that boat. <laughs> I just went yeah, off my, my back is still a pain from that whole situation. <laughs> he has been getting massages every night, so. We also, um, we what we also did is we took down the swing set from the backyard. Uh, we cut that up with a sawzall. Yeah. 
his his cordless brushless mm. one, so it made short work of it, but it went only, through five bad. I only dropped one big log on my foot, he's so good. he's we gonna lose a nail. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't know the situation with my toenail yet, but <laughs> now time to go down to the basement here. All right. Stay up, everybody. Like Sorry, I said, he can't come down. He gets a little mad when he can't come down. Oops. There go. I'm trying to find all the lights. Oh, and we can show the good fun we did. This is all new Pex plumbing stuff. Mike is. This is a... this is a cleared out room. Look how nice this is. It's not cleaned yet, no. but it's cleared out. That's all that matters. And this is the other repair we did the other morning. Got rid of the. We got rid of the behemoth hot water heater in here, so we did, did a little... <laughs> and and little. I almost electrocuted myself not knowing it still had power to it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm over there, Mike's working on the plumbing up above, so I'm like, oh hey, I'll take care of this for you, I'll cut this all apart. So I was over there unscrewing all the little wires, and it's what, 220? And uh, I didn't get shocked. He went over there like, well, I'll just cap these off. I touched it. I touched it. I went to cut the one wire <laughs> and the thing's at me. And she's over there grabbing all the wires and she's got screwdrivers in there. Screwdriver. She, and she and she asked me, she goes, she goes, You think this is live? I go, No, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have hooked that thing up. That's been that's been dead for ten years down there. There's no way there's power to that. <laughs> sure enough. There was. There, there was full power to it. So But sadly enough, so we shut off all the power breakers for the hot water heaters. I'm like, no, did you turn the other one back on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't get a hot shower. <laughs> no, we, we took a cold shower that All right, night, let's, so. let's we're still the We're still adjusting the hot water heater. They didn't have it adjusted correctly. There's two thermostats on it. There's an upper and a lower, and they have to be the same. And we found last night that they weren't adjusted the same. One was set to low, one was set to high, so. Oh, that, oh check out, check out the, the, the the room that I got off. Yeah, you got you can fit in there now. Yeah. That's nice, huh? Nice and clear. Yeah, we just have to get more lighting down here. Yeah. And uh, the mask, we haven't we haven't figured out what to do with the mask yet, but we're gonna put that somewhere. Yeah. Uh, once Angie gets brave enough to dig that out of the out of the, the <laughs> dungeon. Dumps. The dungeon. We find a we find we find a couple more doors down here. Yep. Um there's no, no light to go to that one, but there's a little hole. Yeah, we got rid of the leak here. Yep, so it had a hot water heater. There was a leak here. The yeah, the water was leaking out of the hot water heater. That old one. So we got and, that. Uh, and this so, is all clear. And I'm sure this hot water heater isn't long for the world either. So, this, question: yeah. This has a deadbolt on it. Is this a safe room? Look at it. Oh yeah, it must be. But no handle. So here, <laughs> it's got, it's got a steel door. <laughs> I mean, it's got two locks. Two steel. Two lock, well, lock from the inside and the outside. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, what is that? What are they doing to people in here? <laughs> it looks like an internment camp it's with the little be, sad light bulbs it's and the tin be an interesting. Yeah, it's got the light bulb there, and the, that's the roof. It's a little rusty. It needs some. It needs some rust control in here. At least some paint. But so All we're right. gonna we're gonna have fun. Uh, or this week we're gonna finish up our painting. Ah, uh, do the floors. Uh, we're gonna do the floors. We got we got some floors. We went to Lumber Liquidators yep. and picked up a pick up load full of flooring. And then uh, we're gonna put the floor in upstairs and deal with the air conditioner yet, yeah, which we yep. haven't dealt with no. at this point. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We're we'll get this stuff done today. Maybe I'll get on the phone tomorrow. Yeah, we've been dealing with the home warranty people. What a rip off. And we knew that. We knew that. Yeah. The 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 seller, you know, bought the home warranty for us, so we didn't have to pay anything for it because I wouldn't have bought it because no. I've dealt with them before. It's and you know It's a whole run they around. They no. they never cover anything. No. It's like most of the stuff we fix ourselves, like the toilets all leaked. If we would have repaired them all ourselves, they wouldn't have covered that. No, they're they like only... you need to have a plumber to do this. Yeah. Otherwise we won't cover anything. I'm like, Well, I saved you guys like six hundred bucks. <laughs> Just pay for the toilet. And they'll cover $200 per toilet. By the time we pay a plumber to come out here and do it, well, that'll be $1,000 right there. Yeah. So, I mean, there's five toilets. So, you know, that I don't know. Sense. <laughs> That's that sense. That'll be a whole other story about well, that. That'll be a whole other video. <laughs> we'll tell you all about that. Yes. So, that's it for, uh, that's it from the dungeon here. Today we were painting. A lot.
a lot. We painted this room here. Um, we painted this room here, which of course didn't cover very well. And then we painted the room down the hallway. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we got our paint from Home Depot. It was the most expensive paint they had yep. in the marquee because we thought it covered well. Well, as you can see, <sighs> the, someone the idiots there marked the paint wrong. So we had this half of the room painted with the wrong color and the other half with the right color. So what they did is they, we ordered, I think we ordered what, six gallons of paint? Yeah, six gallons of paint. Six gallons of paint at uh, $69 a piece or yep, something like that. Yeah, $69. And um, <laughs> they, they marked, they switched two of the gallons. Yes, the lightest and the darkest. Yeah, and the, and the colors were so close that you couldn't really tell. Until now. Until you got it on the wall and and now this room's like, and then of course we use the same paint and pan. Yeah. So that's totally gone because this so is not even a, a color. Yeah, so we had it all mixed in there. When I poured it in there, I was like, this doesn't really look right. But it dries darker than it goes on. So, it, and, and, and the paint colors are so close that usually when it's wet, you can't really tell if they're a different color no. or not, not until it's dry. No, until it's dry, but now this. So of course we had to have the hardest room. We're just gonna leave the other rooms, but we had to have the hardest rooms with, the, with all the trim around the ceilings and everything else. And now we got to repaint it again. Ugh. Not fun. So the level of irritating, uh, what are you at? I wanna, From one to 10. I want to I wanna go wring the guy's neck. And well, I, I'm really I seriously thinking about taking the empty gallons and say, these were marked wrong. We painted it all wrong. You owe us rollers, you owe us some brushes. Because, I mean, we wasted four, four rollers on it. And those are like 12 bucks a piece. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> They're Home Depot rollers, so they were $12 a piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just irritating. Crawling up on the ladder and having, having to re-trim everything again. Um, you know, we spent, oh, what time is it here? Okay, we spent uh, seven hours today painting, painting these two rooms. Mm -hmm. And now we got to repaint this one. And, and touch up the other one because then you you're like oh I got a little extra paint I'm gonna run in there and touch up a little trim and I can see the spots on the trim where it's too light I don't even know what to say <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say um, okay well next next thing we have is we've got uh, we've got the long guys here working today actually yep. not the long guys the fence guys fence guys Saki is getting himself a new fence um, they're, so I think they're, it looks they're like done. They, yeah, it looks like they set. Let's go the, check it out. They set the posts. Yeah, I'll take and um, Saki was out in his screened porch, of course. You got to see what we had. And decided that it was far time not, for him. Not only was he going to dig out the dry rotted wood here. Oh yeah, he yeah. He actually found they put these caps on all the posts here, and Saki ripped this one off, and he dug out the post because it was all dry rotted down and below and I'm like well I wonder if they're all dry rotted well no this was the only one that was dry rotted and look at how proud he so, is next of all he he tore the screen off so he could put his head Here. out and look yeah so he's got a nice hole in the screen that he made so luckily I, I found some old screens in the basement of all the things we actually found down there I found this to the, kind of make the screens shift. are not the quality. Uh, they're they're not the quality things that you would expect. <laughs> you know, a, a house I mean, of this nature. caliber to have. So yeah, that's that's the post. It looks like they put in out there. Yeah. So that'll be Saki's little yard area. We wanted to confine him to a smaller area to start with because um, he's just going to dig holes in the lawn and ruin it anyway. <laughs> and you know, we were going to put the the fence in ourselves, but. We priced everything, and the guy that quoted us was way cheaper than it us would cost us to buy the materials. So by the time we rented a post hole auger and got the materials in here, it would cost us way more. Yeah. So we said, hey, come on in, do it. Yeah. And um, 
So it looks like he He's is doing a tomorrow. pretty good job. Yeah. We'll see. We never know until it's all done. So that's our that's our that's irritation our of the day. Today. We have to we have to repaint now. Here's all here's all the paint, by the way. Just so you know, if you go to Home Depot and get the trust paint, your instincts. Just just don't trust. Don't only trust, give them one color at a time. Don't trust the crazy looking guy. You should <laughs> never trust a crazy looking lady and never trust a crazy looking guy, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Just got our flooring done last night. It took way longer than we figured. It does look really good though, I think. I'm really happy with the outcome. This is the new vinyl planking that they have out versus the laminate flooring that we've always used. Big surprise that this vinyl planking is super fragile. Um, years ago, when we put the flooring in, we could use these tools, you know, the little, little pad you hit with a hammer and then the little gripper with the little hooks. Well, here we, we were trying it and every time you did it, you chip up the edges. So we couldn't do that. So we had to devise a way to get it all in here snugly without using any of the tools, I guess, the beating tools. Um, while we're doing all that yesterday, Saki would come in here and grab anything he could get on, his little teeth on. He was grabbing the masking tape and he'd grab it and take off running out of here. So you have to stop what we're doing going, hey, Saki, bring that back. He was taking our gloves Anything he could get, on, get his little mouth on. He had a little tiny piece of the vinyl planking that we didn't use. He thought that was gold. So he ran all the way down to the stairs to use that. So half the day is spent uh, corralling everything he decided to grab. But it was a job. Um, I think that was harder than painting. Um, I don't remember it being that hard. We're down in the dungeon again this morning. We had a hard rain last night uh, and yesterday actually. It rained pretty much all day. And then we had a pretty big storm roll in last night. And just as we suspected... <laughs> We've got water. water. Water through the wall. So... And quite a bit of it. Yeah, so I think we, we knew there was some water issues down the basement. We just, we had a, an inspector come in or a, Supposed, supposed professional come in. And they said we could just put that dry lock on the wall, but... Yeah, they said, well, if we just have to clear out some plants outside, clean the gutters out, and uh, that would do it. But I knew there was more to it than that. I'm thinking then... that um, we're going to have to put uh, drain tile along the sides of the house that are leaking because there's some water. There's some moist walls. Like up like in here, even. Here, you can actually see a little moisture coming yep. through there and also we have and some in the, in the miniature room yeah and the miniature room was pretty bad and then here then here when the with the storm cellar doors of course those are leaking and we knew that was going to happen but i didn't think it was going to end up this much down so, here. yeah there's a lot of water down and here here and like yeah in the little roundabout circle there had some more water pretty much any any place i think they painted dry lock on the wall i knew there was going to be some kind of an issue but Hopefully we should be able to take care of it with some with some new drain tile, maybe some different landscaping around the edges to keep the water flowing away from the house. Um, all the all the downspouts are are uh, ducted below the ground and down to the lake already, so that helps. Um, so cleaning out the downspouts will help a little bit, but I think we just need to do some. I think it's, yeah, it's pooling up next to the house yeah. and just Ex seeping in, especially in that area over there. I went out there and it's pretty much lower down in that corner. So I imagine all the water is not getting drained properly. And the, the soil here is pretty much clay. So it just, it just holds the water in forever. And we checked this yesterday afternoon after the first rain and nothing really happened. So it was more of a long soaking rain, I think is what yeah, really we, did it. We were more worried about leaks in the roof than we were in the basement <laughs> at this point because the basement, I think we can get figured out, but the, the leaks in the roof, I don't want to have to try and chase. Those are, those are pretty much impossible, impossible. to find. 
I know our last two houses had had leaks in the roof, and we chased them for months and months and months, and, and just uh, finally got them fixed. But it takes forever. Yeah. So the basement hopefully will be a little little bit easier, but you never know. We got the doors on. Those actually went on pretty easily. We had to clean up all the hinges and put the um, put the closet stuff back in. The closets have lights in them. So we repainted the doors and uh, got a little got a little paint on the door handle, but we'll scrape that off. That usually doesn't set up. So this room, other than the finish nailing, I've got to wait uh, until we get our, our finish nailers. We've got like four of them. I don't want to have to buy another one. So we're going to wait till we get the rest of our uh, storage from Florida. And then we'll nail on all the trim. Uh, in the meantime, we were looking at the, at the basement situation. It appears as though we have a ground problem. Like the ground is, is angled in towards the house a little bit. And I think what they're going to have to do is, uh, I say they, I mean me, <laughs> uh, probably regrade around the house so the water flows away. And uh, we're, we've got, uh, Angie called a couple people, a couple contractors. They're going to come here Saturday and give us a quote, which I'm anticipating the quote is going to be quite substantial. So it's probably going to end up where I'm going to have to rent a bobcat, unfortunately, and uh, regrade the lawn. But um, uh, that'll be fun. It'll be fun for me anyway. Um, so we'll see you on Saturday. I guess that's where we're at right now. Uh, next video, I'm sure we'll have an update and uh, probably more water in the basement.